In 2009, the Ndora West Member of Parliament tabled the anti-homosexuality bill as a private member's bill. Back then, the youthful legislator, who was serving his first term in Parliament, introduced a bill that received wide acclaim locally, but serious condemnation internationally. David Bahati's name is now etched in Uganda's history books for introducing a bill which scores of Ugandans have been agitating for. But what prompted this man, who just a few years ago was a little-known accountant, to come up with the bill? Uh, we met with children uh, who had been uh, recruited into homosexuality, uh, people who were in the pampas, who had lost their self-esteem because of this. Uh, there was abundant promotion of homosexuality in our country. A lot of outcry from different uh, groups in our country about this, this issue. And uh, members of parliament sat, a number of them, and said, what can we do? Also, we looked through the, the, the existing legislation, laws, and we found out that actually what was in the Penal Code Act was not sufficient and strong enough to stop what was happening. Bahati's strong Christian beliefs inspired him to shape questions of morality in the public domain. He belongs to an American evangelical group called The Fellowship, which is a network of politicians around the world who seek to apply biblical teachings in the areas of governance. I asked him whether The Fellowship influenced him to bring up the anti-homosexuality bill. Fellowships from other countries have nothing to do with this legislation, uh, but our fellowship, members of our fellowship, had uh, a lot of effort uh, into uh, coming up with this bill. It's important to note that it has been a bipartisan effort. Since he tabled the bill, Bahati has been a regular participant in most gay debates in the country. Yeah, when I look back five years ago, uh, what I've been involved in, uh, I can confidently say it is worth it. Because now I'm sure that the family of Uganda the institution of marriage as we know it, which was under the threat of homosexuality, is, is protected. There were allegations that the pro-gay community tried to bribe him to drop the bill. The, the, the pro-gay community used a lot of tricks and uh, a lot of maneuvers to make sure that this bill doesn't go, go, go through. But I think uh, the position I took at the beginning and also the fact that whatever step I took, I was with my colleagues for transparency purposes, uh, they, 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 they backed off. He says the journey this far has been a thorny walkway. Uh, when the bill was drafted and presented to the House, we had a lot of, uh, of, of, of bombardment from the world leaders. Strategy was to make sure that actually I'm isolated as a mover of the bill and uh, possibly be intimidated to, to pull out. So there's been a lot of uh, intimidation, a lot of blackmail. Uh, first, they were able, the pro gay community were able uh, to pass a negative propaganda that this bill was intended to kill gays. Um, I've been denied uh, visas uh, by some countries, uh, I, I probably will not mention them. Uh, for some reasons, I have been uh, harassed through letters. In uh, December, I think December 2010, uh, one of my cousins was kidnapped from my own home. I have been uh, tracked throughout, and um, threats, death threats have been coming throughout. And I was able to, I'm grateful to the government uh, who have been, in a way, trying to provide some limited security. Bahati feels that the four years since the bill's introduction have been a war that he will live to remember. I've been invited to attend a conference in the, in the U.S. and I was stopped from entering the conference and my other colleagues uh, entered the conference. Now that the bill is finally low, there are fears that Bahati's security is at risk. Well, I'm not sure whether I'm safe. <laughs> I'm aware that anything can happen, but I want to assure you that I'm not I'm not uh, scared of anything. The Ndora lawmaker says he is now embarking on documenting the rocky journey that has finally seen the anti homosexuality bill signed into law. Gertrude to Musime Witkwade.